Today we're making apple cinnamon custard cake. We'll start off with putting a bit of butter in the pan. Once this is melted down, drop in two apples that have been sliced. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And a bit of allspice, which consists of nutmeg, cinnamon. Two teaspoons of raw sugar. Keep this on a um, medium to high heat until it's all caramelised. We'll save that for later. And we want four uh, teaspoons of custard powder. Directions are usually on the packet. Now I'm going for a bit of a thicker mix. So I've put in a little bit of extra custard powder because I want the custard to be thick. Two teaspoons of raw sugar. One cup of full cream milk. Now you want to continue to stir this quickly on a low heat. Um, if you stop stirring, you will end up with lumps. So keep the stirring up and that stops the lumps. Now for the uh, batter itself, 180 grams of melted butter, three quarters of a cup of raw sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Got two eggs to go in now. Sift one and a quarter cup of self-raising flour. Quarter cup of plain flour. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a cup of full grain milk. Yeah, this looks a little bit lumpy because I didn't melt the butter all the way through, but it turns out fine in the end. So don't stress if yours looks a bit like this. It's just the unmelted butter. And it's quite a, a runny batter, but that's that's good, that's what we're after. Get your uh, tin. I've cut the uh, paper to shape. This will just more so guarantee that your cake won't stick when you take it out of the oven. Otherwise it'll end up falling apart potentially when you try and pull it out. I've put a bit of oil in there just to um, help the paper stick. Scoop in about half your batter. That does look a bit nasty but uh, it tastes good once it's cooked so don't, don't stress. Spread that around. And once this is done, we're going to uh, place in that custard that we made earlier. That's quite thick, that's, that's good. If it was a runny custard, you'd uh, run the risk of the cake not cooking properly because this is too much, too much moisture in the cake otherwise. Grab your uh, 
that apple that you cooked up earlier. And just spread that around evenly. And tip all the remainder of the uh, apple juice and butter and cinnamon. Tip that all in there over the top. And into the oven at 160 degrees centigrade or for an hour. Place a knife or a skewer into the cake, and if it comes out clean, then you know that it's cooked all the way through. I like to slap on a bit of yogurt and uh, raspberries. It goes really nice. 